はい。はい。On the book. So please let's welcome、uh, Kendra Albridge, our nuclear expert from Friends of the Earth. Thank you for that introduction, Mayor, and、uh, distinguished members of the panel. It is an absolute honor to be here.、Uh, Prime Minister Khan,、um, our deepest appreciation、uh, for your coming to Southern California, sharing these experiences with community members、um, that are directly impacted by their own nuclear threat.、Um, on a personal note, I just want to say that for my colleague Sean Burney, who spent 20 years fighting nuclear energy in Japan. Um, he is deeply honored, and Friends of the Earth is deeply honored、uh, to have you here. So thank you. I just want to say a few words about the current situation at San Onofre, and、uh, I will be up here afterwards、uh, to answer any questions about what's going on currently with these reactors.、Um, as my colleague Arnie Gunderson、uh, pointed out,、um, this is a nuclear experiment with Southern California. Uh, we are talking about radically redesigned critical equipment in the San Onofre reactors that is defective and failed a year and less than two years, respectively, after being installed. Southern California Edison installed this equipment without going through the proper licensing process that would have likely caught these critical design defects. That unnecessarily placed the lives and livelihoods of 8.7 million people living within 50 miles of San Onofre at unnecessary risk.、Um, Friends of the Earth has been challenging the NRC to hold them accountable and to hold Southern California Edison accountable to ensuring safety now to go back and do the right thing. Last year in June, almost this time, we brought a contention to the NRC. That argued not only did Southern California Edison need license amendments for restart or for、uh, the replacement steam generators, but they also needed to go through this process、uh, in order to be able to restart either reactor. At that time, we didn't know the extent of the damage. We weren't aware. We knew that there were major design changes. We knew that there were critical problems. We knew that there was a radiation release and unprecedented tube damage. Um, I know that steam generator tubes are a little bit in the weeds for a lot of people,、um, and not the most exciting subject as are license amendments. However, it's so important to understand that these、uh, pieces of equipment and the steam generator tubes provide a critical radiation barrier to protect the public. And if there is more than one tube failure, as Arnie said, this could provide or、um, release a large amount of radiation into the environment. Um, again, placing the public at unnecessary risk. So this is a very critical issue for the safety of Southern California Edison, or the safety of Southern California.、Um, <laughs> that too, that too, yeah, <laughs> and Edison.、Um, so we have been working very, very hard、uh, to ensure that these reactors are kept offline.、Uh, we've been very successful in that. And、uh, recently, we won a stunning victory before the Atomic Safety and Licensing Board.、Um, this was the NRC's own board that the NRC commissioners voted unanimously to institute to consider the contentions that Friends of the Earth had brought. That the process by which Edison is going through to restart these reactors is, in fact, a de facto license amendment process. What that means is that they would have allowed the restart outside of the scope of the operating license, without allowing the public the opportunity for thorough, independent vetting by independent experts like Arnie Gunderson, like、uh, John Large, who is one of our nuclear consultants as well. And that is critical for ensuring safety, and we're seeing that today again because Edison avoided this process before critical design problems were not caught. And we absolutely cannot allow that to happen again. What the Atomic Safety and Licensing Board said very clearly, after evaluating the merits, the actual facts, was that this restart proposal is an experiment. That the problems in Unit Two and Unit Three are the same, and that a hearing should take place before any restart is allowed. 
And I want to reiterate again, that was a stunning victory, not just for Friends of the Earth, but for everybody living near these reactors and near this nuclear threat. Southern California Edison wants to restart these without having a empirical database on which to base it. So what they're proposing is a theory. They have a hypothesis that they can control the tube degradation and they want to restart it for a trial run, shut it down, and see what happened. That is the definition of an experiment when you test a hypothesis and then take a look and see what happened. We are saying that we absolutely will not allow uh, Southern California Edison to turn Southern California into a nuclear experiment. And I think what was so incredibly powerful today, as Mr. Khan was speaking, was the impact that such a technology can have on a society. Here in Southern California, it's not just the people that are living near these reactors, millions of people, two of the largest cities in the country, and certainly in the state, that are jeopardized by this. But we also have the Port of Los Angeles. The economic impact, if something were to happen to the port, could be catastrophic, not just for California, but for the entire country. So with that, I want to thank all of you for coming today. Again, thank you so much to everybody on this panel, and I'd be happy to answer any questions uh, about the current situation.